Hey, we're back. <clears throat> Do some more Dark Souls. Uh, we're at the bridge where, well, where, where we first encountered the Hellkite Drag or Drake. If you notice, I'm uh, died. Yeah, when I got back from the Undead Asylum, I took a step in the wrong direction and kind of plummeted to my death. Oops. Anyway, we can use the creepy basement key to access this door. And go down to the creepy basement. Did some trading with... It's Snuggly, apparently. It's Snuggly the Crow. That little bird nest. Uh, what I gave him... I am not giving him my sunlight medals. He can go suck my dick. Uh, for a cracked red eye orb, I got two purge stones, so that was a 6,000 soul value. Uh, for a blood red moss clump, I got a piece of twinkling titanite. Same thing for a purple moss clump. Uh, I had to retrade the, the humanity because I, since I had to restart because that little glitch or whatever the fuck happened earlier made me have to restart. So I got the ring of sacrifice back for the humanity. I traded the twin humanity I got from the one boss fight uh, for a rare ring of sacrifice and that piece of rubbish that we found way early on in the undead burg that its description says it has no value yeah trade him the rubbish and he'll give you a titanite chunk yeah it really has no no value mm -hmm. anyway now that we're down here in the creepy basement we can walk up here, open this door. Oh shit, we're back in the undead bird. Damn boy. Oh, and you missed the sun. Sit your ass down, homie. So yeah, be careful when walking around that. Oh, we have a shortcut back to the undead bird, uh, the up, the upstairs of the undead bird. Now, there, the door that you need the residence key to open, that the master key won't work on, is down here. Also, asshole dogs. Luckily, with my plus five claymore of doom and my uh, stats, and my poise and my armor, these dogs aren't really too much of a fucking problem. Now, if we head over around yonder, that ain't it. It's this one. Somebody, somebody, anybody, help me. Unlock the door. Damn, I'm finished. How did this ever happen? Sounds like there's a pussy in there. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm saved. I am Greek Sylvain. The sorcerer of the school. I am next to you. I know we see your troubles. So, there's the sorcerer starting gear and a sorcerer catalyst. Now, he'll go back to the Firelink Shrine and he'll teach you some basic sorceries. We go around here, deeper and deeper into the creepy basement. Ah! Creepy basement! Creepy, I'm gonna die! Fuck! I got screwed up with the movements! Away, fall demon! Oh, oh, kill it! Drink! That was too close. That was almost another death for fucking Azani to record. Killed by a torch wielding zombie in the creepy basement. There's another twin humanity. Uh, I should mention that you can only do each individual trade with the crow once, so... At least last I knew. That's what it said, you can only do it once. So I'm just regurgitating information. Whether it's right or wrong, not my fault. So there's uh, some major assholes around here. You see, if I were to walk down this alley, Something similar to uh, what would happen if you walked down an alley like this in my hometown would happen. And people would come out of the woodwork and you would get shanked. 
this door is going to open, that door is going to open, and another door is going to open. Pro I think of that one. But, yeah, there are hollow thieves. The joys of having a very massive fucking sword. The ability to be a complete dick. Of course, you can't cheap, cheap out the third one. These guys are assholes because they can fucking counter. Oh, sorry, son. You're too short. Can't stab me in the dick. Stabbed right through the heart, though. Get off my feet. Chug a lug, chug a lug. And in here, a mail breaker. Some little dinky thing that I don't think I've ever used. And this was just a monster closet. In the creepy basement. But this isn't the creepiest of basements. No, there are far creepier basements to come. Also... I got the I got enough poise I can just eat that. Man, they're gonna throw knives at me. Fun, I am Chris Royfield. Actually I did actually when I remade him I renamed the guy Raziel, but still. Bitch! dog down here. Bad puppy. And that takes care of the immediate dickheaded threat. As I stated before, I'm saving the uh, regular just souls of the lost undead, the 200 and 400 value ones. And there's the thief gear. If you want the thief gear. Yeah, like I said, I'm saving the 200 and 400 value ones for when I meet a certain NPC later. The only asshole that you can technically call, that you can technically, well, you can kind of call it selling. Hi, how are you? No. Get this parry shit down. Now, I would go up there and fight ye old mini boss, but I don't feel like fighting ye old mini boss. This door is locked. That door is to the creepier basement. Yeah, I think I stated in an earlier video the reason being is yeah, they're worth 200 and 400 instantly, but if you save them and, and give them to. The ass hat I'm talking about, they'll give you 500 apiece, so. I mean, it's. It's, eh, it's only a marginal profit, but. I'm an item hoarder, come on. And here's another merchant. Speak up, bitch. Yo, boss! <laughs> that has got to be one shitty existence. But you can buy moss clumps, this blooming purple moss clump, that's... yeah. Now, on the bright side, if uh, if you trade a blooming purple moss clump with Snuggly the Crow, he'll give you two pieces of Twinkling Titanite. Also, you can buy things for griefing people, like poisonous throwing knives. 
and shit pies, which actually stung pie. You can trade one of those to him as well. Uh, I've never used an alluring skull before, so I have no idea exactly what they do. Charcoal pine resin, but basically the same thing as the gold. Ah, tran- e ah, 4,000 for a transient curse? Fuck. Rotten pine resin, homeward boners. Ah, you can also trade- I'm gonna buy one of these. You can also trade a prism stone, and you can purchase humanity for 5k. So... Uh, what do I... Uh, I know I'll find these later, but I'm, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna crack back off camera. I'm going to wind up going back off camera and um, trading those just to get the rewards earlier. I mean, I might as well get the Twinkling Titanite. A couple extra shards of it. I mean... So, yeah, we're back at the Undead Berg again. That's the way to the Berg, and this is the way back to the Firelink Shrine, and you're a ratty, 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 rat. Rat, 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 rat. You're dead ratty, 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 rat. You're also a bitch, and you didn't give me any motherfucking... Hi. Stabby. Hi. Stabby. The way this is right now is I'm probably going to be killed by the boss. So the fact that I fell to my death earlier is kind of moot. I walked right past that man. Excuse me, sir. You are a dick. And this is Lordran. I win. I am going to eventually have to uh, make myself a holy weapon for when I want to go down to the crypts. Dick about down there. Ah, and there's our... Our buddy pal that we just rescued. Oh, hello. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. At least we both made it back unscathed. Incidentally, would you care to learn any sorceries? You're oh. clearly talented, and besides, I owe you. Of course, we will require some materials, but I'm happy to teach you some elementary spells. Are you interested? Sure. Splendid. Very well. I am pleased to have a chance to give something back. Well, then. Let's get started straight away. Have you heard of Big Hat Logan? Master Logan is a great sorcerer and my teacher. Both of us came to this land as undead. I want his hat. But one day he departed, leaving only a note. I suppose he wished to keep me out of harm's way. But where does that leave me? I have dedicated myself to sorcery. But Master Logan could find no use for me. So, I, I I like the way they weave um, I like the way they weave it that, yeah, you're not buying these from me. We just need materials, which I guess I'd rather need materials than say, yeah, I'll sell you shit. What? So yeah, you got these little candle. I think it's a little candle icon. The first icon is how much intelligence you need. Um. Actually, this guy is cheaper than the Magic Blacksmith down below, which, yeah. Great Heavy Soul Arrow. Great Soul Arrow. Heavy Soul Arrow. Soul Arrow. Blah, 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 blah. Arrow, arrow, arrow. Oral Decoy. I forgot what this does. Uh, lure enemies away by creating a sound originating in the distance. Blah. Ah, magic weapon? Hmm. Well, ah, shit. You see, we're a... Mm, that would kind of be useful. Boost sorcery, boost length of sorcery effects. 
Bro.